from a manufacturing standpoint, the way we assemble this car, the way we put it together, all of this is essentially very different from another car. The Model S uh, process stage, is, it all starts with raw material. We have coils of aluminum, different gauges, different types of aluminum, maybe 50, 60 coils. We start the process by uncoiling the coils in a special machine we call blanking machine that allows to flatten the metal first and then cut it into flat pieces. We call them blanks. In addition to traditional blanking tools, we're using laser. And then with these pieces, we feed them to the press lines, these gigantic dies. And the press lines essentially form the panels, you know, boom. We are getting all of the parts necessary to make the body of the vehicle out of those gigantic machines. And then all of these parts, as they are finished, so to speak, are brought to the body shop. The role of the body center is to take all the stamping panels that we make, and we bring all that together in one central location. And that's where we actually put the Model S together. We'll start and we do an underbody, which is the main floor system of the car. And then from there, we'll move to body sides. That's the internal reinforcement as well as the outer skin. And inside the framing area, we take the body sides, the underbody and, and the front end of the car, and we actually marriage it all together. One of the most unique things uh, about this body center is we actually have five different overall joining methods uh, for the body shell. We use adhesive, we use self-piercing rivets, we have cold metal transfer, conventional resistance welding, as well as a new delta spot welding system. When a body leaves the body center, it's actually a full, completed body shell ready to be prepped and painted. We have a gigantic robot that takes the body and put it into a conveyor. It is conveyed to the paint shop. You have multiple pretreatment, primer, base coat, clear coat. All of this is supplied with robots that have a special ability to paint in a very clean environment. You get a beautiful painted body that's coming to General Assembly where we have these super elegant robots we call smart card, where every card is essentially moving through the factory by itself. It follows a magnetic strip and essentially the card is being assembled from inside out. We're utilizing automation to the fullest. We have a variety of robots from the, the teeny little ones to huge ones that are able to move the entire body itself. One of the robots that I, I, I'm always very impressed to look at is the one that puts the seats inside the Model S. And the same robot is able to change tools, go from a seat handling device to putting the windshield actually grab the windshield, put some glue around it, and then put the windshield onto the car, as well as do the rear glass of the vehicle. So talk about versatility here. We have most everything we need right here in house. We do the majority of our stamping panels ourselves. We have design engineers here at the facility, so we're very nimble and uh, very quick at what we do. Currently, it takes about three to five days for a Model S to go from raw material all the way to being finished on the uh, bamboo line. It's magnificent. It's like a piece of art. We constantly try to improve process efficiency. We want to push the boundaries of what can be done by robots versus humans. So it's a constant evolution. This Tesla factory is the future of the USA and the world. That's the way I see it. We are building the future here. That's how proud I feel about this.
Before Tesla moved in back in October 2010, this factory in Fremont was the home of Numi, which was a joint venture between General Motors and Toyota. It was at the time where you know, the auto industry was struggling and we were able to buy this factory for a relatively low purchase price. And we decided to essentially refurbish the factory from scratch. I was based at SpaceX making rockets and the SpaceX factory was really super clean, super light, super open. And so when we were able to acquire the Tesla factory, we said, okay, we need to make it similar to SpaceX. We're gonna paint the ceilings white, the columns white. We're gonna make it bright. Where we have the ability to have skylights, we're gonna have the light from the sky, you know? And the psychology of that is if you want quality, you need people to feel at ease. You need people to feel like this is a quality place here. I need to make a quality product. We constantly try to improve process efficiency. We're utilizing automation to the fullest. We have about 160 robots, the latest technology you can find on the planet, that are able to do very diverse tasks. Robots are extremely good at repeatability, accuracy of motion, but humans are more intelligent than robots. Therefore, we need to use humans where there's a lot of value for that intelligence. Here we're in Silicon Valley, right? So you have wonderful universities, you know, Stanford, Berkeley, UC Davis, you name it. So we have a lot of talent. So we want to take full advantage of having highly educated people help us improve the automation. What is unique about building the Model S as an electric vehicle is a lot of the components are actually very different, like the drive units, the battery pack, the battery modules. A lot of those components do not exist anywhere else. So we need to do a lot more than any other factories that I've been at in terms of sub-processes inside the factory. We do about 95% of our stamping in-house. We do a lot of the machining in-house. We do some coding in-house, we do painting in-house, we do the center display in-house. So the level of integration is very, very high. And because everything is here, it speeds things up greatly. And that speed has a lot of intrinsic value in terms of innovation, adaptability, flexibility, all of that. In the future, we have a lot of opportunity to grow and bring more of this product to the market. And so, you know, huge potential here.